So one of my favorite new trending videos on YouTube amongst teachers is the what's in my teacher bag video. So I wanted to do one um, mostly because my bag is so uneventful. Uh, so so this is this is the real wrap with the Reynolds what's in my teacher bag. <laughs> First, I have a bag I got it on Amazon. I bought it because it looks cool. I used to have a really large leather bag that looked like uh, like Indiana Jones satchel or something like that. And I got rid of that because it was too heavy, it fell over all the time, and there was too many places to put stuff. And when there's too many places to put stuff, I put stuff in all those places. And then I realized, why am I carrying all this stuff all the time? So, first, bag is canvas, it has two pouches on the front in the main pouch. Every day to school, I carry this Joby pod, which is what I use to hold my camera on when I'm taking videos, which is why my camera is now so far away because I have the Joby pod in my hand. Now that you know the Joby pod's in my bag, I will now utilize it to hold my camera. All right, I like that better. Next, uh, in my bag, I carry Zebra pens. It's the only brand of pen that I buy. I like these because if you carry any other kind of pen, a lot of times I'll lose the cap. And when I put the pen in my pocket, I either stab myself or I get ink on my pants or I get ink on my shirt. So these pens are cool because you can pull them apart, put them back together like that, and it becomes a normal sized pen. Or when you're done, go like that. Uh, and I'll even often tuck them in my shirt like that, tie over it, bam. I mean, who doesn't love that idea? I keep a flash drive in my bag at all times. A flash drive with all of the documents that I typically have on Dropbox or on Google Drive, just in case the internet doesn't work that day. First year teachers, you'll see that first time that you realize that you're keeping everything on Dropbox or on Google and the internet doesn't work at your school, you can be, you'll be, you're screwed. So I keep uh, anything that's essential on USB. I also keep a small, multi-tool in my bag. This is useful for a hundred different things. I mean, it's, it has a wrench, it has a little knife on it, it has a nail file in case, you know, I have a hangnail. I need to take care of that business. Just take out my wrench. So this comes in handy all the time. I really like having it in school. And if someone else needs like a quick screwdriver or something fixed really quickly, I can help them out with that as well. Next, what's next in my bag? Always keep Tylenol and Pepto-Bismol, because you don't know what's gonna happen at school. And the last thing is field notes. I write down notes constantly. A lot of times I'll write down notes on my phone, I'll type them in, but there's something about having all my notes out that I can just have them in here and flip through and see exactly what I wanna see. And that's that. So that, I mean, what else do you, what else do you need? What I think is more interesting is the stuff that I keep in my desk at school, I think is a far more interesting video. So let's check that out right now. I realize the lighting on this isn't so good, but I'm shooting into the light. And there's not really a way around that today because it's so cloudy. I think that what's in my desk is a little bit more interesting than what's in my bag. One of my things that I love about school is I love this ability to teach the guys to make the best out of any situation that's going on in their lives. I'm always telling the guys or trying to get them to understand this concept of making something from nothing. And so if you have a regular old day and you're in whatever job that you're in, you can always make the best of that. You can do that by being kind to people or being funny or brightening people's days. And, and what that allows you to do is snap people out of their regular daily routine for just a moment and have them look at things differently. And that can have such a huge impact. And so school can be very monotonous. It can be very much the same thing every day if you allow it to be. And so what I'm hoping to do with, uh, with humor and with love is to help the guys to have, make a switch in their day or have that minor tweak that might send you off on a better route for the rest of the day instead of just being stuck in the kind of humdrum feeling of what school can feel like. So here's some of what's in my desk. Darth Vader mask, tiny hands, megaphone, easy megaphone, available at your local dollar store, air horn, real megaphone, awesome, fake beard, too many people have worn this, I'm not going to put it on anymore, silly string, more silly string, old people glasses, these have actually come in useful for multiple situations, including students that have migraines, they just want to put, you know, close their eyes for a second, but it's still too bright. Give them these and makes kids happier. Bag of airplane whistles. Hey, it's your birthday. Great, man. Have an airplane whistle. 
Ronald McDonald puppet. Not really sure how useful this comes in, but I mean, once a year, pull this sucker out, it's pretty funny. Know what I mean? Know what you mean? Do rag. Not sure where I got that from either. Seatbelt belt. Giant fake ears. What was that? Huh? What'd you say? Slingshot. I haven't used this yet, but I plan on using it in the hallway at some point. It's gotta wait for the right day. Glasses with eyeballs in them already. Sometimes I tell kids that I have my mother's eyes. Sometimes I tell, I tell kids that these are perfect for sleeping in class. Wanna sleep in class? No one can tell, this looks like your eyes are open. A necklace with New Jersey on it. I don't know why. I don't remember why I made this, but I did, and it's, it still makes me smile. A whole bunch of medals. I have a whole bunch of these in there. Someone does something great, I go, man, you won the day. A whole bunch of clown noses. Disappearing ink. This is a great prank for just certain kids. Not saying this is a good idea for everyone, but for some kids to just shoot a little bit of this onto them is hilarious. Or to make believe that I got stuff all over myself and then, so sometimes I'll squirt this on myself and then I'll make a big deal out of it. Uh, or I'll blame some kid that hit, it came from his pen and then I'll pretend that I have magic abilities. To... The lights went off. I'll pretend that I have magic abilities to uh, make the ink come out of my clothing really quick. Fake mouse. Tied the fishing string. This is really fun to pull down the hallway when no one's looking and they think there's a real mouse in the hallway. A mirror. Because let's be honest, sometimes something might be hanging out of your nose. You don't want to ask a friend, have a mirror in your desk. It's from the dollar store, plus it's leopard print. Sunglasses that aren't yours. Not sure where they came from, not sure what I would use them for, but can't hurt to have them in there. Fake nose. I used to have glasses that went along with this. I don't know where they are, but the nose is up too good to be able to just get rid of. More silly string. More silly string. A monocle. Because you know what? Why not? An inflatable lightsaber from the dollar store. Haven't, I have a video where I fought another teacher in a room with a sword. I'll link that right here, I think. Right around here, somewhere. So I have this in case I have to fight that teacher again, because you know, I tried to come at my honor and I had to defend it. I have this, I haven't used it yet, but I'm waiting for the right moment. Whole bunch of fake mustaches. They also double as eyebrows. One of my favorites, fake money. Sometimes if a kid is doing a good job in the hallway, I'll just walk by him and be like, killing it, bro. Here, take your mom out somewhere nice tonight. You've been doing a good job. A whole bunch of little signs that I use. Or, these dollars that I made with my face in the middle of it. I used to use these as hall passes. I sometimes will put them on the floor in the hallway with a piece of string tied to it and pull it away. Kids think it's a dollar. I don't know why they think this is a real dollar. They always ask me if it's a real dollar. It's gigantic. Kids, not a real dollar. Printed this situation out. When we read plays in class, I can do things like, and action. Doesn't really make the sound, but I guess I could use a sound effect. Formal apology notes. Whenever I maybe forget to do my attendance or I upset one of the women in the office, sometimes I'll write these up and then I give them to them and they're hilarious. They think, they always think it's funny. It always nullifies the situation and makes them not mad at me anymore. And at the end of the day, that's what you really want. You want the office staff to not ever be mad at you. Get out of jail free cards. So I'll hand these out to kids sometimes that have a hard time keeping it together in class sometimes if I notice they've been acting really well lately or, or like really putting an effort in to do their best in class. I'll give them one of these and then if you have a bad day, just hand in your get out of jail free card and we just chalk it. Uh, you just get out of jail free. And finally, dental floss. Cause let's be honest, you don't want to be that teacher with a little bit of stuff stuck in your teeth and the kids are going to tease you for the rest of the year. Not saying that happened to me before, but it may have, it may have happened to me before. That's it, that's, that's one drawer of my desk. I have other drawers in my desk with other weird things in them. But again, I'm just trying to make the best day I can for everyone in the building, including myself. Helps me to have fun, helps the kids to have fun, helps to make the day a little bit easier. Question of the day, what do you have in your desk that, uh, that cracks people up or that the kids get a kick out of or maybe something you have in your classroom that really makes them laugh? Leave it in the comments below. I'm just interested to know. Maybe we can share some ideas. You can take some of these. I'll take some of yours and we'll keep the community growing. Don't forget to subscribe if you can. And hey, if you know anyone that could use a little help in their classroom, maybe a new teacher that's just starting out and looking for some motivation, go ahead and share my video with them. Thanks guys, see you next time.